Close your eyes, place your hands on your lap, and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, watch it all the way out. Try to get a sense that the breath is comfortable. If it's too long or too short, you can change. If it feels right, try to keep it going. Then if it gives rise to a sense of well-being, you're sitting here, you don't have any other responsibilities right now, anything, anything else you have to think about, anything else you have to worry about, just you and your awareness and the breath. That's it. That should give you a sense of lightness. Try to maintain that sense of lightness. Don't let it get washed away or pushed out of your mind by other concerns. Try to have that sense that whatever comes into the mind, the breath can still be comfortable in the body. That gives you a nice framework to stay in. You want to maintain that as much as you can. This is one of the basic principles in the Buddhist teachings, is that you try to develop good things and then you maintain them. This principle works on all levels. We're, we've been talking this Rains Retreat on the, the Buddhist teachings on how to give rise to your benefit in this life and in the next life and in the ultimate benefit. And one of the features of giving rise to your benefit in this life starts with being industrious and being having some initiative and giving rise to good things. But then the next one is about maintaining, being vigilant and looking after things that you've got. And this starts with things outside of the wealth you gain from your work. Don't go throwing it away for things that don't give you any lasting value. And if you go after your food and you want the ultimate taste in food, well, there's a lot of money wasted on that. And what do you get out of it? You get a full stomach and then you have to go to the bathroom eventually. Well, that's the same with any other kind of food. There are lots of things that we waste our money on, that we waste our time on. Our time is precious. We don't know how much longer we've got to live, so try to maintain what you've got, the good things that you've got. They'll grow stronger and they'll be able to maintain them. The same principle applies in the practice. When they talk about maintaining the precepts, and the precepts we took just now, you don't just say them and leave them here. You take them home with you and you follow them. And it's in maintaining them. At the same time, you maintain your own well-being. The same with the meditation, trying to maintain this sense of well-being, even as you get up, move around, have that sense at least in one part of the body there's a little bubble of good, open feeling that you can tap into any time you need it. Because the world is not a, always a pleasant place to stay, and it's not always an easy place to stay. Sometimes you may make up your mind to go and observe the precepts, and then someone else does something that gets you really upset, and you start saying things and doing things they shouldn't be saying. Well, you've thrown away your good stuff because they've thrown away their good stuff. It doesn't make any sense. When other people are throwing away their good stuff, you've got to maintain your good stuff as much as you can, both with external things and with internal things, especially with the internal things, because those are your real treasures, the qualities of the mind. Those are the things you can take with you, regardless of what happens outside. So look after those. Maintain them as best you can. and They'll become your own inner treasures, the things that you can really depend on to provide you with the happiness that you need.